A silly dressed warrior flips and chops his way through the bad guys because there can only be one. This is Highlander, I mean Beowulf on Stinker Madness. Stinker Madness. Stinker Madness. Stinker Madness. Hello and welcome to Stinker Madness. Hello. Sam. Justin, Jackie, doing the doing the bad movies, doing it up, watching watching the crap, the crap ones. This was a crap one. <laughs> this was crap. Podcast. It was terrible. <laughs> Beowulf on Netflix. With Christopher Lambert, Lambert, uh, Lambert. I was expecting great things right from the beginning sequence. Oh, it was great when they put the title of the movie up there with the boot. That was so dumb. I <laughs> I don't even know how to what, describe that thing. What are those called where, where you can Still see one wet. thing, but then you can see oh. another two? Oh, like the the lady. Is it a lady or a witch? Yeah, is it image? a lady or an old woman? Yeah. Old, I, yeah. I don't know. What are those things called? Illusionist pictures? Kind of. Illusion they're, pictures? They're anyway. Not, they're not called magic eye because the magic eye is the thing that you cross your eyes and look into and you can see the sailboat. I can't see those. Except for that fat kid in mall rats. He, he can't, can't see. Yeah, he can't. I yeah. think... That's true. Scooter. I can't see it. You can't see the magic, magic eye? eye? No, I can't see those. They drive me fucking crazy. <laughs> so, well, I had a book of magic eye when I was growing up. Yeah. And I loved it because I, I could see it. And supposedly, if you really are really good at it, you can see images behind the images that you see in front. But I couldn't do that. But I had this one. I was such a little perv that, like, at eight years old, there was this picture of Eve. And she, you know, you look and there's a snake. And yeah. she's sitting down and... And she's nude, and, but her legs are kind of crossed. And so I sat there for like a month trying to double cross my eyes so I could see what was past her leg. 3D vagina. Huh. And it, it never happened for me. <laughs> oh, that's that's wow. too bad. Yeah. I went to uh, Barnes & Noble one time, and I don't remember what I was looking for, but I just kept listening to people. And this guy was talking, and you could tell very quickly that he was on his first date with this woman. And then he's taken her to Barnes and Noble on their first date. That's, that's a pretty bad choice. Yeah. Oh well, it gets worse because mm-hmm. after that, he finally finds an associate, and he's like, "What are those things called where you look at them and if you see it, but then you don't see it, but then it becomes something else?" And they're like, "Oh Jesus!" <laughs> uh, I think with the magic eye is what you're looking. He's like, "Yeah." And then the rest of the time, I was I waited until they left, regardless of what I was doing, because his jackass goes into the he gets to the magic eye section of Barnes and Noble, and this is 10, 15 years after that shit had been popular, yeah, right? Okay, that was popular when we were fifteen, right, right, right. Uh, yeah, he's the ten years after beyond the curve, and he's taking a woman on a first date to Barnes and Noble, so he can stand there and be like, "Whoa, do whoa, you, do you see it? Do you see it? It's a sailboat." Yeah, like the whole Barnes and Noble store can hear this jackass getting his mind blown. <laughs> Sir, it's actually the, a schooner. Yeah, <laughs> at the turn of every page, <laughs> and this woman is nice enough to like hang out with him. For the rest of the day, I would if I would have been her, I would have been out of there. Maybe she was really dumb or really poor. No, I I uh, I had to I had to pay attention to what was going on there, and she was not having any mm-hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. She's like, like she was nice enough to stay there. You could have swooped in and stolen that day. Uh, that vulture date. Yeah, vulture date. Classic carry on move. <laughs> so just like lay down some brass tacks. <laughs> just like walk up and be like, okay, it looks like right now you've got two options. This, or, uh, you know, a lot of Paps Blue Ribbon and screwing. Uh, take your pick. <laughs> like, at that point, that, you know, even you might catch something there. Lesser of two evils. Wait, catch something? The VD. Like, the VD. The VD. <laughs> well, she might catch something. You might catch yeah. something. You never know with these Barnes and Noble ladies. <laughs> so, anyways, Beowulf. Um, Christopher Lambert. Uh, he's, he plays the title role of Beowulf. There's a monster beast stalking Grendel. a castle. You don't even they they barely mention his name is Grendel until the very end. Yes, he's an alien meets predator looking dude with some purple shit around he's him. He's got like a fart cloud fart around cloud. him. Yep, the entire time. Which I thought when you can kind of see through the fart cloud that's purple, 
The, the, whoever did the creature work did a good job. I thought that that was detracting from the movie. I also agree with you there. I thought it would have looked better without that. Yeah, it was just Grandel walking around without the cloud of gas. His arm looked good. If the rest of him looked as good as that arm, yeah. that would have been a fine monster. Yeah. He, well, you can barely even tell what he is. Yeah. He also can, like, um, turn invisible... Or magically appear? And magically appear... Well, yeah, because he gets uh, inside the room that's locked, and how does he do that? And uh, he can climb walls. Um, Jump. He's really good at punching people. Yeah. He's really good at one-arm killing people. Uh, yeah, he can squeeze you with one arm and kill you. Yeah, lesson of the movie is, you chop the monster's arm off, guess what? It ain't over. Yeah. You, you don't throw a party. It's just an arm. He's mm-hmm. got two of them. And a hoary mom. And a very hoary mom. Boy, oh, yo, yo. You, uh, you remember Beowulf at all? Reading yeah. Beowulf? Oh, how accurate is this? <laughs> Not at all. Okay, good. Well, one, Beowulf has a whole team of people. Yeah. I and thought Beowulf was just a poem. It is. It's okay. the epic poem. Yeah, it's real long. It's, yeah, it's you know, like... It's a novella length poem. Yeah. Okay. pages or something like that. I have not read no, it, so... No, it's longer. We, the, we read the abridged version, because ah. there's a bunch of... The school version is usually abridged, because there's a bunch of nonsense in there that is and, hard and to digest. Ba- or uh, Grenell's mom boning everybody that they probably can't have. They don't have, have that, any of that. High schoolers read. They, that's that's something that, oddly enough, in the other Beowulf that we just watched, the one with, that uh, Zemeckis did, they did the same thing and had Beowulf, or Rothgar bones Grendel's mom. Mm. That doesn't happen. Hmm. There's not any of that. I don't know. One thing that never happens in the, yeah, both of the Beowulf movies leave out is that Beowulf's sword was so big that, like, the team of his, his like, sidekicks... Yeah, they can't pick it up. They all have to pick it up together. Right. Like, hand me my sword. All ten of the nuts acts have to... You know, well, go. Rothgar's got a pretty big sword. Is it a sword? Is it a saw? I couldn't tell. It's a sword saw. Chainsaw. It's yeah. a sword. The saw longest sword. chainsaw blade ever without the chain. It was just a saw. Yeah. It's really dumb. It looked like <laughs> yeah, a giant... Yeah, their weapons expert was a real butthole. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. weaponsmith. There's two weaponsmiths in this movie. Both of them are stupid. <laughs> yeah, well... It's because they spend too much time sharpening the four-foot-long pizza cutters. Yeah. Which come in handy when you like to cut pizza from four feet away. Well, so anchovies. Before we get too deep in this, we should disclaim our what did we see in this movie, mm-hmm. so we can so we can mention it. Our we'll not give a, a, a total count, but we will say that we kept our eyes out for how often Christopher Lambert cares too much. Uh, how many times there's flips over the camera. And how much it's blatantly obvious that Christopher Lambert cannot see anything. Yeah. Not Beowulf can't see anything. The actor. Christopher Lambert can't see shit. So, movie starts out with uh, some guys around a castle thing. Well, it doesn't it start out in the castle, and the Rothgar's got... The first of many helmets that you can't see out of. It's like a solid metal <laughs> helmet. It's just like, cover my face all the way. It's a ball made of steel on his head. Yeah, well, yeah. they're all they're all armored out to go fight Grendel, right? Cause Something, he's, he's, yeah. He's coming to the castle at night and getting guys, I guess. But, uh, yeah, they got their, their saw blades, and the, the one guy's got the pizza cutter, and uh, there's a couple guys with, with like, uh, uh, pasta strainers on their faces. So they can see a little bit, those guys. Everybody's dressed really stupid to go fight Grendel. And they don't. They don't they fight don't. Grendel. They just see some guys get knocked out of a hallway, and then it cuts to the next day. Yeah. Next day, so, the, the gal's running away. So yeah. We, some lady is running out of this castle. Have we got any, any idea who she is? Yeah, she's, she's just some scared. lady. Some bimp. Yeah, she's yeah. just a scared lady who's running away from the castle. And she, But she gets nabbed, like, immediately by A guy guys. who just punches her right in the face. Yeah. And she, then like, runs into in the, the woods. Meets a fist. Gives, gives her the knee to the face. They're beating the hell out of yeah, her. Yeah, she, she's not happy. Well, they take her to, uh, for some unknown reason, <laughs> this giant chopper machine. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a straight razor and a picnic table. A giant straight razor. Like eight feet long? Yeah, this thing is incredibly large. It's really big. It's just like a chopper. Like, put, put somebody in there and then chop them. It's one of those things that, like... You'd see where you were in grade school, you know, where they have the paper thing where you cut yeah, the paper. Yeah, And it has the handle, and so you put the paper on the cutting board, uh-huh. and then you cut down. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah. Real big, though. <laughs> Stupid big. Um, we're, since, since 
I'm just going to ask this question right now. Mm. Who are these guys? Who are? Yeah, that's one. I'm going to get back to that. I'll ask that question are again. They, well, are they the same guys that are outside the castle yeah. for the rest of the movie? Yeah. Why did they get her? Like, what's the problem? Apparently, just being around the evil in the castle has made the person evil, so they're going to help her by killing her. So They get the evil out that way. Yeah. Did they bring... Like, is the chopper just part of the they're, castle grounds? I think that's something that they have to bring around with them. So there's, there's there's a team of chopper draggers Like bring it around. Later on, when they're like, pack it in, that's one of the things that takes the longest to pack in. And get like, back on the boat. Yeah, get that. Get our big knife packed up so that we can take that somewhere else. <laughs> Wherever and, we go. And uh, maybe chop some people with it. So dumb. Well, they put her on the machine, and they're just about to give the 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 call to release the chop, and uh, Beowulf shows up, and uh, in, the, in the dumbest fashion. <laughs> He's just standing on a, he's just sitting in a horse. <laughs> yeah, but he's like, he look like the very first thing you see is he's looking at the camera blankly. Yeah, he can't, he can't see, anything. see anything. And then he, times one. And then you, they cut to him a, a medium shot and he's looking at the guys and they say some stuff, but then it goes back to a close up of Lambert just looking back in the camera. <laughs> and the <laughs> other thing blankly. is, they're drawn to his attention because his horse is just like, murr, 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 murr. it just keeps going and going. And I think it would have been like, in any real situation, no matter how uh, fantasy the world is, somebody's going to be like, what's with your horse, buddy? <laughs> Does your horse have a problem? Because he's not shutting up. He's got heartworms. <laughs> he's in pain. Take care of your horse, Beowulf. He's been feeding him yeah. too many beanie weenies. <laughs> Chinese takeout. <laughs> Chinese takeout. Horses don't like Chinese takeout, but everyone in bullshit land does, apparently. That's all they have there. <laughs> like That would have been nice, too, to have seen the Chinese restaurant. Like, you've got the castle, you've got the camp of guys that are completely unexplained, and you've got, like, Ming's Great Wall. <laughs> it's, it's, like, on the other side of the field with a normal parking lot. It's, uh, it's the same Chinese restaurant in Birdemic. Yeah. Um, it's double duty. So, Beowulf is like, no, you guys suck. I'm going to fight all you guys. And so he brings out his array of weapons that apparently he gets from MI6. Because they're all gadget weapons. And the gadgets suck. Like, they the one, suck. what is the point? So, he, he's he got, like, these axes that are switchblade Axes, grappling right. hook axe things, I guess those They're are... They're like rock climber axes, but two-sided. And and they... Little tiny pickaxe. Yeah. Yeah, and they have switchblade. The blades come out... But, and really... also chains at the bottom at of them. At the bottom, but you don't see the chains at the bottom of them yet. At this point, you just see him pull them out and then look, not be able to see them even though they two feet from his face. How do those chains work? Because those pickaxe <laughs> things are only like... A foot and a half tall. Yeah, I don't know how he fit that much chain in there. Let's, he's got like 30 feet of chain. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, <laughs> he's got uh, unlimited ammo, automatic crossbows. Well, I did notice that the crossbows were like double bow. Like Each one of them had two shots. Oh, I didn't was, catch that. There was two uh, strings on each one of them and two bows on each one of them. I don't think that would work. Probably not. Mm. Uh, the other thing was is that his, like, the go-to weapon when the guy's running after him on the horse, and instead of jousting, he pulls out this thing, and it pops a spike out, and then it drops three, like, miniature balls on the end of mm -hmm, chains, mm -hmm. and he uses those balls to knock the guy off the horse, but you never see it again. What was the spike for? Yeah, exactly. Um, he's got uh, uh, the little mini knife that, that, if you push a button, has two other mini knives that stick out of it. Oh, yeah. The pitchfork. Yeah, the, the trident knife. Tiny knife. He's just got an array of baloney weapons. <laughs> but uh, he beats up all the guys. He doesn't kill any of them. Um, but, he uh, chops one of their hands off. He does with their own... With the chopper. With their own giant knife table thing. Guy loses his hand. He's not happy. Um, I, I really thought that somebody was going to get their head lopped off right then, and I just was like, why not? Just do it. Mm -hmm. Just chop somebody's head off and yell out, there can only be one. Fuck it, why not? Yeah. Um, well, he saves the girl, in theory. <laughs> well, for now. And then he just heads up to the castle that she <laughs> ran away from. And she's like, nope. And, and the, the guys are is, following him as well. He's talking to her, 
Uh-huh. And then he turns around, and she's not on the back of the horse anymore. <laughs> blah, 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 da, blah, da, blah, da, blah, blah. You have to understand that I am going to this castle. Wait, where did you go? <laughs> Slippery. Yeah, and that's then, about what it sounded like, too. Yeah, and then he cares too much. Right. Well, He's like, oh, no, not you. And then they fucking kill her. She just runs back to the guys that were just trying to kill her, and they just kill her. <laughs> they yeah. just axe her right in the stomach. Like, yeah, we don't have time. Obviously, if we try this table thing again... It's like, these guys are okay. Yeah, they're all right. You know, because they figured they learned. <laughs> they learned that their bullshit machine just takes too long, so they just kill her right there <laughs> with an axe. And you know what? We we can go through all of that rigmarole, or we can just get it done here, and, you know, let's go call it a day. Yep. Demons out! <laughs> yep. She's saved. And Lambert, okay. <laughs> Lambert just gets this look on his face like, huh. But well, that was a complete waste of time. Yeah. I will just go back, keep going to this castle. My heart bleeds for you for the time it takes to turn around. Yeah. So that strike one, he cares too much. Yeah. He risked his own neck and used all his powers to save this lady who ended up just running into the guys that wanted to kill her in the first place. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so he meets the king of this castle. I guess he's... He's Rothgar. Rothgar. Is he King Rothgar? Yeah. What's his official well, title? Well, Rothgar is the king in Beowulf, but in this, he's like the, head the master of the outpost. outpost. Yeah, the yeah. castle's an outpost. It looks like a castle. It, look like it an looks like bullshit. Yeah, it's got it like, like a bull. claw that pulsates on the top of it. What yeah. is that about? And like plenty of moving parts all over the place. Yeah. It's not even really shaped like a castle. It's got like a wall that's like six feet tall, and then, like, another side of the wall is, like, 40 feet tall, and it just makes no sense. And it's got a lot of hydraulics that yeah. never are explained as to what those hydraulics do. It, he gets inside, and this this outpost castle basically looks like the fortress in Waterworld. Like, it's the same kind of design. Like It's shot very similar as well, like, that they shot it really low and to really high to make it seem bigger. Yeah. Yeah, so it's made out of, like, future trash. Like, steel girders and, uh, um, just weird crap equipment. That- it's actually just made out of current trash, because... Current trash? Current, like, they went to a junkyard and just built what's, that thing. What's current trash? Oh, like, current time. Like, yeah, oh, it, that was it's supposed to be... Because I still know. can't, you know, is it the future? Is it the future? Yeah. Is it, what? what is it? I don't know. Well, there's also, like, the guys, I guess they, they were killing the, the lady in the chopper. They're just camped out there. Like, are they, they have, like, campfires. They have, and... a, like, a ring or a wall. It's not even a wall because they're not connected, but, like, a line of big fires that they light every night. Is that to keep Grendel out? Or what are they doing? What are they doing indeed? Because they're part of, they're, they're part of the castle. Are they? They're... I think so. I don't think so. So I think they're religious people that are trying to cleanse the earth of evil. By lighting because... fires and hanging out outside of an outpost. Yep. Okay. Uh, the one point Rothgar says something about him, like those, they made it past the whatevers. So he's well, not, not one a... of, he, and then they, like, he's not one of them. Well, he's not one of us yeah, either. Yeah, well, they're not doing anything. They're, they're not, like, see- besieging the castle no, or anything. They're... they're just hanging out. May, oh, you know what? I bet you they are. Huh. I bet you they're... Union. They're union I guys. bet you they're dickheads. <laughs> uh, but I bet you they're guys that used to live at the castle. I don't think and so. And then Grendel started coming in and killing everybody, and they're like, fuck it, we're going to live outside until you get this Grendel situation wrapped up. No, because when the Grendel situation, when everyone thinks that's wrapped up, they're like, all right, we can go now. Not let's go back in the castle, let's leave. Hmm. Our job here is done. What very, was that job, Steve? I'm not sure. But we did get the thing. We we brought the cutter with us. And we've been lighting the fires every night. So I feel like we've done a good job here. And now we can go. Yeah. Well, he goes inside and he meets the king. And he reveals that he's there to help. With the Grendel situation. <laughs> and that he's not one of those guys from outside. And that he's just there to help. So. And he's not from... The uh, son-in-law's family. Right. Nobody, he was not sent by anyone. He just came yeah. to help. Which, there's, there it is, number two. He cares too much again. Why well, the plot of the movie? He yeah. cares too he much. He cares too much. Why are you even there? How did you, you, you just, your care alarm went off when mm-hmm. you gotta go help these people in this castle? He said he was drawn to the evil. Yeah. Because he cares. He cares. 
Too much? Too much. Yeah. I care too much. Oh, God. So, <laughs> they have, like, a dinner meeting. You know, like, oh, we must they, feed our guests. They get Chinese takeout. They have Chinese takeout. Not a joke. Not a joke at all. There's shrimp and soup. Crab rangoon, fried and rice. In in the little metal... Sweet and sour pork. Aluminum containers that you get with the folding top. It's so dumb. Like, what? I don't know. <laughs> Chinese takeout dinner, yeah. So, he's going to hang out and uh, take care of Grendel somehow. I guess he's just going to... His plan, battle plan is to just wait until Grendel shows up. Wherever he's going to be at. Um... But he doesn't rescue anybody the first night because the the weaponsmith gets uh, gets killed the first night that Grendel shows up again. Yep. Is that the first night? Well, yeah. it's, it's technically the second night. Second night because the first night he comes back out in the morning, and Dickface is beating people up to make himself feel better. Oh, Roland. Yeah. Roland. Yeah. Roland is beating people up to make himself feel better. No, no, no. I have that note after um, the black guy gets killed, or gets nailed. Oh, he, really? Yeah, because he... No, because he's Grendel up there going... the guy in the face. I, you can... I have not seen this movie. I have proof of it right there in my notes. <laughs> I know, but when he's beating the people up, uh -huh. the black guy that was in... Uh, with Stallone and Snipes... Demolition, Demolition Man. Man. He is commenting on why is he such a dick to these people. With Carl. Yeah. Him and Carl are up there, and they're yeah, like, God, true. Roland's a dick. Oh, this may be the second time that Roland gets his ass kicked. Yeah, he does a well. They fight. Yeah, there's but the battle training. Yeah, and in battle training, you also see that everybody else has to wear helmets that completely they can't uh, see. takes away their ability to see. Yeah, and they fight. at one point, <laughs> they he takes somebody's weapon away and he throws it at the guy who can't see, <laughs> and it hits him in the stomach, and he does a good attempt to like try to grab it, but then it hits the ground, and I wa I wondered for like I missed part of the movie because I was just curious like. Why would you do that and leave that in the movie? Mm -hmm. Like, one, have a guy that can catch it, or two, just don't throw just it at it. a guy. Just cut it at all. At all. Yeah. Don't even do it. It was so weird. It was weird. Well, uh, yeah, so anyways, long story short, the black guy gets, that's, he gets the Grendel's fingernails shoved through his neck. And, and then uh, later his chest. Dead. Yeah, and then yep. later. Or is it just the blood from his well, face? I don't, oh, I don't know. I don't know. He kind of looked like he'd been mauled by some kind of wild animal. Yeah. <laughs> well, like... Grendel's kind of a wild animal. Yep. Party man. Uh, Beowulf is then uh, consulted about the death, and uh, he reveals that he, he can sense that Grendel can sense him, mm. that they're now linked in their sensory... Abilities. Uh, of each other, because mm -hmm. apparently... Well, Grendel's obviously evil, obviously, because he's killing guys. Well, didn't... Okay, wait. But but Beowulf is like Grendel. He's yeah. He's one of the damned. One of the damned. And if he doesn't fight the evil, he will become the evil himself. I guess. So they're basically the same guy. These are own, this is his different own, versions of him. Uh, according to his own suspicions. Yeah. Nobody really knows anything. No. There's a monster that's killing guys. Yeah. Actually, they don't even know if there's a monster killing guys. There's just corpses everywhere. There's corpses everywhere. And this happened, they, they kill the weapons master at dinner, right? Yeah. Well, they're because having, uh, the, uh, Rangoon. Yeah. They're having takeout. That sounds good. We should get something. We should get, yeah, Chinese takeout. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, also, the Princess Kyra, is that her name? Kyra, yeah. Kyra. Mm -hmm. For dinner, her dinner wear is lingerie, <laughs> a leather overcoat, and a tablecloth. That isn't wrapped around her. She just holds it in front of her. It is bullshit. <laughs> oh my god! It's so let's, dumb. Let's the costume talk about designer Kyra for a little bit in this thing is an idiot. She's uh, I don't know if she's uh court material per se. <laughs> <laughs> she's got her boobs out everywhere. Yeah, she's like that's just her regular. She only has. The lingerie outfit, and then her normal, like, leather... Robin Hood outfit. Ro Robin Hood, busty, busty Robin Hood outfit. And it was, every single thing was had the same cut to it. It was, like, six or 40% of each breast shows. Yeah. And it's the same exact cut, and, it, like, it cupped them the same way to where whatever she was wearing, her boobs looked exactly the same, and mm -hmm. most of it was out. Like a wonder bra. There's a push-up bra, too. Yeah. Was... Um, <laughs> she's also... Everybody wants to bone her, 
And, uh, she's... doesn't seem to be uncomfortable with that. Like, hey, Roland's, uh, dad, Roland, this guy over here, he's trying to, he's trying to get in britches. Uh, can you do something about that? She's just like, no, Roland, you just keep loving me, mm-hmm. and, uh, I'm gonna walk over here now. She's like, anytime somebody brings up, you know, the, the boning, she just kind of is aloof and just walks away from it. She's an odd character. Yeah. She's like every woman. Yeah. And the awkward <laughs> scene that she had with her dad. Yeah, where, where he's... Yeah, you, the uh, actor that plays her father wants to bone her. Oh, yeah. Because he was like, oh, I'm not in the scene anymore. I'm just going to look at your boobs. <laughs> he's making pretty good eye contact. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like eye to boob. Oh, like there was a connection between... A, a solid... There was good chemistry between his eyes and her tits. I would say he was undressing <laughs> yeah. her with his eyes, but uh, he didn't need any help. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Roland and, uh, Beowulf then get in a, get in a little tussle together, and, uh, Roland just gets his ass kicked by mm-hmm. Beowulf. Like, it's not even a freaking competition. Um, I guess it was like a hangdown contest? Like, yeah. You know, yeah, it was. When for- you guys are done jerking each other <laughs> off, can you kill the monster <laughs> type thing? Yeah, what did he even go to? Yeah, did he, that's when he first goes to kill. Grendel, I think. I guess. No, I think he just wanders around. He just wanders around hoping that he can stumble upon Grendel. Yeah. It's, there's really no battle strategy. But uh, later that night, King Rothgar's in bed by himself having some sort of dream, I guess. I, is, is she, she having dinner? a dream or does she just show up in night? I think she shows up in Nightman's him. Yeah, she's the Nightman. And he is a heavy sleeper. Or maybe she like has superpowers that like makes him sleep. Through the rapins? <laughs> I, are is you just he, pretending to be asleep? Is she raping him? Like, are they... Is she... It looks like it. Are they... Is she just tongue in his nose? I mean, you're already there. Why not? Well, I don't know. I, it seemed to me like she was having sex with him. Yeah. Uh, and then that was causing him to have nightmares about her being pregnant with his kid. And yeah, he's Grendel's father. Is what I get. Yeah. yeah at the very end, yeah. she tells him. Yeah. So, and, and we learned that his... Uh, She's all showing off the the baby bulge to the queen. Yep. She's like, oh no! And she throws herself off the parapet. That's right. Yep. Bomb deal, man. So, what's, uh, what's Grendel's mom's deal? <laughs> she likes boners. Is she a person? She, well, I don't think so. Like As a- evidenced by the end of the movie. Well, yeah, but she turns into the thing, but that's because of Grendel's Fart cloud hits her. I don't even know what was going on with that. Like, does she need that? What is? What like, is? Even... Is it recycling his soul? Like, I... he climbs back up into her vagina, and then voila! Now you can have another kid. Really feel like that fart cloud was somebody's decision way after the fact. Yeah. Oh well, it's obviously done in post, but but I think that they made like I bet that the first cut of this movie was done, and they added that. Yeah. That, because it just, one doesn't, it doesn't work on any level, and it doesn't make sense to what's happening. So I just feel like that was just one, like, we need more bullshit. That's gonna put this thing over the top. Well, Carl. Hot Carl. Hot Carl. Cause he does become hot Carl, cause they have to put him in the toaster. The yep. incinerator. I put they... him not Carl. Not Carl? <laughs> cause like, two times in the movie, somebody's like, you're not Carl. <laughs> Nope. No, not You're Carl. not Carl. Not Carl. Well, he gets dead. <laughs> so apparently Carl sneaks up on people outside yeah. of the uh, story world, or in the story world, but outside of the uh, the movie that we see. Carl's a real trickster. <laughs> the whole that Carl. How did Carl die? Grendel, uh, Grendel kills him, him, but how? He just, what is well, the cause of death? It doesn't, you don't get to see that because the... He gets Grendeled. Assistant weapons guy, who's the nephew of the first guy Will. that died, he pat. You see him faint, mm-hmm. and apparently Grendel's not into taking ducks. No, because the fainted people, he's like, I'll wait for you to wake up so he, I can. He needs live prey. Kill you better than he's, that. He's like a tiger. He won't eat the dead ones, the ones that he thinks are dead. So that's how you survive a tiger attack? You just limp out? So apparently you just Actually, face them. No, because they will maul the shit out of you because they um, know that you're... They, they're testing to see if you're faking. So they'll they'll claw the shit out of you trying to get you to 
get up and run so that they can eat you. If you're dead dead, they won't eat you. But at that point, why do you care? Because you're dead. You're already dead. Yeah. Okay. They, I've seen where they wear masks. They wear these hats that like have a face on the back yeah. of them because the tiger won't attack anything that's looking at it. Yeah. So you you walk through the forest with this with you eyes on the front of your face and eyes on the back of the face. But I have also heard that the tigers eventually figured that out. Those are no longer safe. They have oh. evolved past that. They figured it out. But at the same time, if you're facing it, you're probably still okay. No, they will just eat you. Oh no. Yeah. No, tigers are a real bad bad time. Uh, there's, in like, uh, ten years, there will be no more tigers out in the wild. They, the only living tigers will be domestic tigers. Huh. Yeah, that, that's how fast they're dying over there. That Real sucks. Fun. It does really suck. Fucking poachers with bottles. Um, we should get Beowulf to take care of those guys. So. Well, if they need somebody to do some handspring, <laughs> we know the right guy. Yeah, um, so there's, uh. Grendel, they're out looking for Grendel, and they know Grendel's in the castle, so they, they, the men folk, including Beowulf, go out to, like, look at him, or look for him, but they stick all of the women, I guess, inside the castle and lock him in the door that only locks from the inside. Into the yeah. sanctuary area. They, yeah. they, the, the, the room of the dead. Yeah. They lock him in the death basket. Here, only, be only, safe in here. The door can only be lo- open from the inside. So they can't get in once the screaming starts. There's a loudspeaker. <laughs> yeah, they have a loudspeaker to what's happening in there. Yeah, so Grendel, uh, he gets in there and he uh, he kills them all. And uh, so, and there's only hot babes in this room. Like, there, did yeah. you catch that? They're all mid twenties women that are yeah. all chesty. Yeah. You know, they probably just shoved them all in there and didn't bother to check and see if. Grendel was hiding in the broom closet. <laughs> Grendel's wearing a bra. <laughs> I'm I am one of these hot babes. <laughs> like Carl shows up and you're like, "What's going on?" And you're like, "Oh God, Grendel got in there and killed all the women. Isn't that his bedroom? Why'd you put him in there? That's where he goes to bed at night. Well, that's his room. Grendel, Fuck. Grendel has his own room. I could have been that room. The way things went down, yeah, might as well. But let's th- back up. I have a question. Okay. Let's say they don't get eaten. Uh huh. The hot and babes. Everything goes well. Or everybody. What? No, that just in that room at mm-hmm. this point. Mm-hmm. Let's say that that plan works. They're safe in there. What's going on over the loudspeaker at that point? Like, are you listening in while they're playing a game of bridge? <laughs> yeah, why is the loudspeaker still on? Uh, you're like you, people are guarding the courtyard, and you just over the loudspeaker. Uh, Wendy, I just the cabbage has just made me so gassy. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> every mundane con- conversation. I'm trying to concentrate on killing Grendel, and I'm listening to fucking Susie talk about this book she just got done reading called Fifty Shades of Brown. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're all dead. Um, he finds they they go into this like I guess it's the dinner dinner room. Because it looks like the same set where they had the Chinese takeout. Yeah. They get, they get in the, back in the castle, and uh, Grendel's in there. They fight, finally. Face off between Beowulf and Grendel. And uh, there's plenty of backflips at this point. Shit flipping all over the place. Beowulf's doing handsprings. Yeah. And everybody else is just getting punched and knocked out. Yeah. There are, it's all, all down to Beowulf, who just kind of flips around. and. But at the end of every, like, serious tumble routine, he takes one, like, right in the chops. He gets, he does the tumbling, then he gets punched in the face yeah. and slumps on the floor, and that's when Grendel cuts him right up the middle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, Beowulf's gonna die. Unsuccessful gymnastics, part one. Yeah. <laughs> well, Grendel escapes again. Beowulf's all cut up, and Kira, Kyra... Patches him up by placing a towel over his yeah, so guts. More to the art direction and the property management and everything that happens with the look of this film. She just puts a towel on him, and then she leaves with a bread pan that has a really nice silk napkin in it. <laughs> so that was her medical kit, was a towel, a silk napkin, and a bread pan. And that's where she has the conversation with Roland about how he wants to bone down with her, and she's like... I know. Okay, see ya. That's good, I like that. Yeah. But I'm not going to do anything yeah, about it. Just keep, just, just keep loving me. Keep wanting to bone me. That when I, when I ask you for things like mixtapes, you'll you'll say yeah. <laughs> mixtapes. Uh, there could be mixtapes in this place. That's Who what knows? you know. That's, that's what he does to her, I think. He just makes her mixtapes. 
that are all love songs. Like a lot of he gets heavy with Genesis <laughs> and uh, Firehouse. Yeah, I see him being a Firehouse guy. Who I am also a Firehouse guy. <laughs> the each mixtape starts and ends with "Love Bites" by Def Leppard. Mm-hmm. And you sprinkle some final countdown in the middle of it, just because it's fucking sweet. <laughs> it has nothing to do with anything. Just, I really like final countdown. <laughs> yeah. And she's got them, like, in a place that she keeps them, because it's like, you know, like, uh, some sort of romantic currency for her. But she doesn't listen to him any, because she hates the music he likes. <laughs> she's like, you listen to that mixtape? And she tells, she lies. She's like, yeah. They're like the trophies, the the ears that people cut off and wear. Yeah. She's just got a box of mixtapes that are and her trophies, she her can love trophies. just guess as to which songs are on them because he only has like six albums. <laughs> yeah. He just mixes like, even though there's 600 mixtapes, there's only about a variety of seven. Well, there's obviously no Napster in this universe then. Um, well, Grendel's mom shows up again, bones down on the king. Same rapey scene. And they room out right here where it shows the exact same cuts from the last time she rapes him. Yeah. It's just, a, they just played the whole scene Recycled over again. Recycled footage. Terrible. That's when we find out the king's wife killed herself because because of Grendel's mom's baby bump. I assumed as much, but they made well, us she... wait for an hour to find that yeah. out. So that uh, turns out Beowulf, he, uh, he gets all healed up all nice. He's got superpowers. Yep. Next time we see him, he's got uh, he's got a scar across his tummy. It looks like he's just got crusted semen on his chest. Yeah, pretty much. That's a key. <laughs> he uh, he heals well, and he likes to party at night. <laughs> Maybe Roland. Like, Roland came in there while he was sleeping after thinking about Kyra, and was like, "Well, I got to put it somewhere." Somewhere, yeah. <laughs> it's either like, the old sock again, or <laughs> he's, wait for a minute. Let's see if anyone else wants to make this ibukaki party. <laughs> Uh, well, he's he's got the power to heal himself instantly because everybody thinks that he's dead. He's gonna die, but yeah, you know, he's he's got that ability. Uh, so his now, now plan is he's got to have a secret weapon made by the by Will, the new blacksmith, weaponsmith, whatever he is, retard kid. Which we don't find out what it is immediately. No, it's a, a it's weapon. a really bad payoff. It's a cheese grater. It's a fucking cheese, cheese grater. grater. Yeah, it really uh. is. Um. We can also get a fun scene where Kira, Kyra, is it Kira or Kyra? I think it's Kyra. I think it's Kyra too. She's just walking up and down the halls, looking into doors. Yeah. Nope, nothing in there. Walks back to where she was, looks in that door. Nope, nothing in there. But Grendel's prowling. Mm -hmm. Prowling the castle still. Because does Grendel... If they think that Grendel's not in the castle at times, because there's times where they're not looking for Grendel. Where do they think Where Grendel they goes? Go? Yeah, because in the in the damn poem, he they have there's like a cave. That yeah, they he goes live to in. his cave. That's where he gets killed, right? Yeah, that's where they both get killed. Is in the cave, but they don't have a cave in this. Mm -hmm. They just sort of show up. There's no like where do they come from, and then the guys that are at camp, the camp guys, they where they came from is a mystery as well. Well, Grendel seems like he just lives there. Yeah. He's just hanging out. He's always there. He's always there. Let's go look for Grendel. Well, he's not here right now. Yes, he is. He's somewhere. And then Carl, if he wouldn't be dead, was like, I'm telling you, that's his room. He sleeps in that room over there where you keep trying to save people and keep them safe. Before everybody gets killed. That's, that's yeah. where he hangs out. Well, Beowulf's got a new plan. He's not going to just uh, look around for Grendel. He's got the secret weapon, and he's just going to stand in a room... That is dark and that full, is flooded. And flooded, yeah. Kind of looks like an underground sewer. Yeah. It's, yeah, basically. Kind of. Is he? Is that it's, where he is? It's also the room where you have a karate movie where the guy has to do training, but it's like in present time. Like that uh, uh, movie with uh, Billy Zane that we watched that was freaking so stupid. He does Invincible. The yeah, Invincible, where he does the practice karate fighting in the water room. Yeah. Because it makes splashes and it can look cool when you slow it down, I guess. Looks like one of those places. But, uh, Grendel comes in there and just starts beating the shit out of him again. There's backflips aplenty, and then he just gets punched right in the face. Yeah. His tumble routines end in a punch in the face. Yeah. Why every does, time. Why, why does Grendel like to punch so much? Why, it's he's effective. He's got those claws. And he, yeah. And he's, you know, got nasty, pointy teeth. Well, if he would have taken some tips from Undeniable, 
Undefeatable? Undefeatable. He would have just poked their yeah, freaking right eyes out with those nails that he had. Well, it wouldn't make any difference because Lambert can't see shit anyways. His mm-hmm. eyes are completely useless. He That's must revile, rely on his sense of evil. His evil detector. He's like Daredevil. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's Care Bear Stare. Care Bear Stare. He's got a Care Bear Stare, but he can't see. <laughs> Which Care Bear is yeah. Christopher Lambert? I don't know. If you could make them all one. He's Handicap Bear. He's Uber Care Bear. He's, yeah. When the Care Bears all join together, they form Christopher Lambert. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. They're Lambert like, Stare! Yeah, you exactly. have to buy them all to make Christopher Lambert. It's like Voltron. They, you know, instead of the, you know, cats joining into a massive robot, the Care Bears conglomerate into Christopher Lambert. <laughs> and then they just wanders around and he can't see anything. Bumps Where are my glasses? <laughs> Well, uh, he uh, he uses the wrist saw cheese grater thing and, and takes off uh, Grendel's arm. So Grendel's down an arm, but it does it Which doesn't really it doesn't matter. look like. It looks like he punches him in the stomach. Yeah, yeah but his arm falls. But his arm falls off, and then he wanders off. And he just lets him, like, up, oh, job's done. Yeah, let's hang up the arm. Cut There's his arm trophy. off. Party, party time, guys. Oh. Open the kegs in the wine cellar. And you want to know who throws a shitty party? Rothgar! Right. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, he does not know... Uh, that party sucked. They get some more takeout, too. Yeah. More Chinese takeout. More Chinese takeout. Wine party. And they open up... He drinks out of some tree. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Roland's down in the soy sauce. He's hitting the soy sauce real hard. Uh, and, and all of them are just staring at Kyra's boobs. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even, She wasn't even in there, was she? Yeah. Isn't she boning down with no, what's his face? She's in there... Yeah, she's in It's mom for a party. Everybody's, like, sort of just sitting there. Yeah. Nobody's saying anything. Well, it's because most everybody's dead. Like, hey, wouldn't it be great if everyone we knew could have came to this party and wasn't mm-hmm. dead? Well, they ha- they're they having a survival party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for the five people that are in this room. Yeah, everybody else is dead. Other than the guys outside, but they're not part of anything. They just leave. Yeah, that's when they leave. They're like, they see the arm hanging there, and they're like... Bail. Our job uh, looks like they got it. We well, can leave now. What was your job in the first place? What were you doing there? Well, Roland needs a smoke break. So he goes outside to get some air. And guess who's out there? Grendel's mommy. <laughs> Being really horny. Super horny. Yep, Layla Roberts. La- oh, yeah? What's, yeah. what's She was deal? in Playboy. Oh, okay. She was a, a Playmate of the Month. I can see that, I guess. Um, Because she's the booby lady in this movie. Yeah. She's also wearing snot. <laughs> I thought it was like, it looks like onion skin or so. I don't know what it is. It is weird. It is a weird outfit. But, uh, yeah, so she, uh, she seduces Roland by rubbing his nut cup. And, uh, I guess that's his, the end of Roland. I guess. Well, I don't it know is. How she kills him. And he doesn't like blowjobs. Okay, one thing. Do you think that he, A, doesn't like blowjobs, or B, he just knows that that metal cup makes his balls so musty that he's like, oh, don't do that. Not until <laughs> I've had a bath. You don't want to go down there. Well, he likes tongue. Cause he, she, she they likes lick tongue. each other. He likes tongue. Yeah. They tongue each other. Meanwhile, Beowulf and Kyra are boning down. Beowulf bones in his boots. And his leather pants. And his, and his shirt. T- black t-shirt. He doesn't even... I'm I'm curious as to whether or not he took his wiener out. <laughs> like just try her. I guess so. And she's like, Oh, that's great. <laughs> like maybe maybe for her next time around she's gonna, you know, take it to second base with him. <laughs> Is this the best you've ever had? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean uh, yeah, sure. Let me show you my back flap. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh she confesses that uh she brought him there with her magic. The magic that is inside her. And after they bone, <laughs> I, guess she, I guess she gets a hot dick inside her. Oh, boy. <laughs> Stupid. Dick inside her. Dick inside her. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's a yay old joke. Yay. yay. Uh, <laughs> no. Well, her magic, uh, I'm into for is her pheromones, I guess. She attracted him by... I don't, I don't know. know. Her magic? What's her what magic? Is it? She doesn't, we she doesn't don't have see any the magic. magic. She might be good at the Kegel exercises. <laughs> I thought you were going to say keg stands. Keg stands? She's probably good at keg stands, too. Yeah. 
It didn't seem like anybody was good at keg stands at that party. Well, guess what happens to the party people? They get dead. They're all dead! <laughs> yeah. Shitty party just got worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, Beowulf's boning down. Everybody's dying downstairs. <laughs> Uh, Roland gets tossed onto the uh, from the ceiling. I don't know how he got up there in the first place, but he's dead. King King Rothgar, what happens to him? He gets squeezed with one arm. Remember? Oh yeah, yep. that's right. He, gets, he tries to kill Grendel's mom. He just says, "Yeah." He pulls out his sword, and then Grendel comes out and gives him the old one arm hug. Bear and that's hug. the end of it. So, did Grendel's mom kill all the party people? Yeah, you're led to both. believe so because she's got blood all yeah. over her. Yeah, how did she do that? But she's only got blood like right over her, her nipple boat. area yeah. because they had already showed her nipples too much. They, like yeah, I guess they there was a there was a mile limit. There was a meter on those tits, and they uh, ran out. <laughs> how did she kill them? Who does knows? She have like powers other than her transformative powers when she gets Grendel's fart gas? Or maybe he, Grendel runs around and he uses his one arm to rip everybody open and then she just drinks the blood. And it just got messy. Yeah, it just got messy. Mm. Well, uh, Grendel bear hugs the king and then he punches Kyra in the face, so now she's out. Because Beowulf and, and Kyra come downstairs. And then uh, Beowulf backflips. The, he does a gainer yeah. off of the, uh, well, I don't even know where he is, but he does a gainer off of Rackers. it. You can tell the acrobat in the shot doesn't make the full gainer. No. It's about a three-quarter gainer, yeah. and there's a pad down there that he lands face first on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that that hurt. I would like to have seen that. Well, he kills Grendel, just stabs him in the armhole. Yep, and then twists it. And that that does it. Mm-hmm. Grendel's fart gas. Seeps around the room for quite some time while uh, Grendel's mom is talking about how how uh, Beowulf has no choice she's, but to get horny for her. She's monologuing. Yeah. She's, she's being... doing a villain, but it's not like it's the good villain monologue where she's saving time, I guess, for the purple fart to get ready. I guess, because it just floats over to her yeah, after it doesn't a make really long sense. time. It doesn't make any damn sense. Well, she just keeps talking about boners and boners and boners yeah. and boners. And then it's how like, how everybody wants to bone her, and now you want to bone me, and you have no choice because I'm just so sexy. Yeah, and you like blood, too. Yeah. It's in your inside of you. It's like almost like she was asking him, so do you want to go to McDonald's or Jack in the Box? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You like hangovers, I like hangovers, let's go bone and get a hangover. They, she wants to go to Barnes & Noble. Check out some of that magic eye. <laughs> well, she gets the fart on her, and uh, she turns into a spider bat. I think it's a spider bat made of meat with a lot of nails. It's like, yeah. Uh, half, with a rib cage. Half spider, half bat, half Lady Gaga. And then it has a stomach mouth. <laughs> oh, it does. It does have the stomach mouth. That Direct thing was injection and really stupid looking. Yeah, it was yeah. awful. Looking. And you can tell even when they were doing it, like it starts moving around. That even the the whoever was the concept designer for this, when they came up with this, even they couldn't figure out how to make the goddamn thing move. <laughs> no, <laughs> nope. So like somebody drew it and then they hand it to like the person that has to make it happen in three D, and they're like. Steve, how is this thing going to move? It's like, that's for you to figure out. You know what, Steve? Fuck you. God damn it, Steve. <laughs> well, Beowulf flips away from it. Does some more tumbling. Then he uh, gets pinned against a wall, but he cuts her throat open. Yep. Yep. And uh, then then the torch hits her in the face, I guess. The, the... Oh, that was awful. And she just explodes from it. Yep. Right. Yeah, he cuts one of the torches, and I guess that the, there's just propane... <laughs> going through this place like a son of a bitch. Because it shoots, like, you see it spraying out of there, and then it cuts to the shot of her, and it's just like a couple of pieces of fire get on her, and yeah, then she and then blows she up. blows up. And it was, what? Like, her blood is, is flammable. 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 His, his life was made to believe. Yeah. Well, it causes the whole fucking castle to collapse and explode as well. No more awesome hydraulic arm tower. Nope. Yeah. Then Kyra and Beowulf ride off into the sunset together. After she has to talk him into it, though. Yeah. Yeah. I've got no place else to go. And fortunately for her, he cares so much that he lets her come along. Yep. Yeah. Well, that is care care so much number four. Or number three. I got three cares too much. I got four. I had four cares too much. 
I wonder what the fourth and the third fourth care cared too much was. How many uh, flips over the camera do you guys got? I got four. I have I need to get to the right page here. Four flips over camera. I got five. Really? Because I'm counting the sword that flips over the camera. I counted the sword that flips over the camera. Yeah, no, I didn't. Never mind. Yeah. No, I didn't count the sword. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I got 11 times he cannot see shit. I have 21 times 21 he can't see anything. 21 times he there was can't see shit. 21 times that I was pretty sure he couldn't see anything. <laughs> I put down 10, because there were some scenes that they kept cutting back to him yeah, where yeah. I didn't want to count those over and over, over, and, over and over again, so I only had 10. But I, at the same time, I had a hard time because I could just tell, you know that he can't see anything mm-hmm. the whole time, mm-hmm. and so it's really hard to distinguish. Like, mm-hmm. what you, is he... <laughs> one thing is he never... There's never um, a scene where he and another actor or actress are on camera at the same time looking at each other. It's, he's always looking at some place where you have no idea if that's where the person's standing or not. And I, I am led to believe that it's just shot that way because I think you that, can't put them together on screen because he would be looking at the wall. Yeah, I thought that whoever shot it did a nice job with some of the medium wides matching eye lines. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. where, like, it was like they were matching it around wherever he was looking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, get over here. Questions and answers. The number one question on everybody's mind. What is Beowulf? What is Beowulf? Well, I've got some things that I wrote down based okay. off of what I heard in the movie. I would like mm. to hear some theories. He tells her, I am trapped between two worlds. Uh, so one like of a, the damned. So is he a ghosty? I, he a I'm not sure. Ghost? This is just the things that he says. Uh-huh. I can't share my life with you. <laughs> <laughs> My mom walked walked towards a silver, uh, shining silver light for three months until she was pregnant. Bale God of Darkness, Lord of Lies, is what she said my dad was. (laughs) And I have to fight evil so that I won't become evil. So he's a demon. He's one of the damned. (laughs) Who is a Bale God of Darkness, Lord of Lies son. Might. Be. Might be. Might be. Uh, allegedly. Allegedly. And his dad is apparently super shiny and silver. Yes. And really far away. Yep. And, and he can make fields just appear so that he can have the sex with Beowulf's mom. Yeah. What do you got, Sam? What's your theory? Well, I guess he's a half demon. I, but he thinks he is. He's got to be half something because he gets the healing good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's a... Uh, Got that going. Okay. So I'm I'm guessing I'm guessing that he's Blade Vampire Killer. Yeah, he's a, a he's hunting one of his own. Yeah. But and I know you guys don't watch the anime, but the Vampire Hunter D is real popular. And that's what he's the son the half vampire son of Dracula that hunts other vampires that cross the line to the tune of like ten thousand years or some nonsense like that. So Yeah, I think, dude, I've seen Vampire Hunter Z. All right, then. He's Vampire Hunter D of demons. Okay. Because he was like, to Grendel's mom, who's your dad or whatever? <laughs> who's your daddy? Who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> um, yeah. Well, he's bail, word of lies. Yeah, he says, someone oh. stronger than you. My dad's a fireman. <laughs> My dad's a gardecologist. Garnacol. <laughs> Didn't remember from Kindergarten Cop? Garnacologist? That's what he says. My dad's a gynecologist. He looks at vaginas all day long. He says gynecologist, not garnacologist. Yeah, he says garnacologist. Oh. And it's a kid. He doesn't know how to say gyne, but he can't say vaginas, I guess. Yeah. This isn't about Kindergarten Cop. All right, so I got a theory. All right. Okay. He is an X Men. Oh. And so is Grendel. Ah. And these people don't know anything about genetic mutation mm. and uh, that sort of business. So they make up this backstory to uh, with mysticism and uh, uh, all sorts of other shenanigans that's before the, th- the era of rationality, the scientific method. So they just make up bullshit to justify that he is actually just an X-Men. And he might be Wolverine, actually. He's more like, uh, what's his face? Wilson. Wade Wilson. Wade Wilson. What is his Deadpool? name? Deadpool, yeah. Why do you say that? Because he can heal, so can Wolverine. Because he uses a sword. Wolverine didn't have his claws at this point. 
He's, I don't know. He obviously can take a punch real good because he gets punched in the face a, a lot. lot. I don't know. He knows how to yeah. take a punch. I'm so pretty that, sure that he's a secret raver. A secret raver? <laughs> because there was a lot of techno music in this, and oh, when he God, first goes into the so castle, dumb. when he first goes into the, the outpost or whatever, mm-hmm. right? It sounds like they're playing the Macarena. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the horse is kind of trotting along with it. Mm-hmm. And the horse is like, yeah, I love the Macarena. <laughs> and then he gets off the horse and it's like, he's got a dildo <laughs> where his horse horn should be. Yep. yep. <laughs> hey, Macarena. Hey, <laughs> she got off the horse. <laughs> uh, my first question is, when is it? That was my first question as well. When? When? When indeed. When Here's is some this? clues as to when it is. Zippers. <laughs> um what Snaps. else do they have? Glasses. Yeah. Um magnifying telescopes. Propane. Outdoor speakers. Yeah. Outdoor speakers. Yeah, loud, it brought <laughs> propane that goes through the castle and lights yeah. it up. But here's what they don't have. Anything else from modern times? No cars. No guns. cars. Guns. They have a giant razor blade. They do have a giant razor blade. Shaving we don't have blade. that. Yeah. Yeah. And a picnic table. When is it? Pizza indeed? cutters. Yeah, They've pizza got cutters. Those. They've got those. Carl had a muffler with nails coming out uh-huh. of it. Yep. Strange. Anybody else got a question? Yeah, where? Where is it? <laughs> where? Is this? Don't know. <laughs> Predominantly white area. Yeah. yeah. The, I didn't see any Chinese guys. people there. No. no. no Asians. Are you kidding me? Uh, they had the, the token black people and... But everybody knew karate? Yeah. Not really. Or gymnastics? He knew gymnastics. None of the guards knew anything. No, they, they were knew how players. to. They knew how to get punched in the Bumping face by the Roland when he was in a bad mood. Yeah. We don't see any other... Areas besides this castle field thing. What is the castle claw? What does it do? What does it do? It shoots flames out the top of it at the fingers of the claw, but it, it opens and closes, and that's it. That's all we know. It's aesthetically pleasing. Is it? I didn't think so. I found it to be not. I didn't like the way it looked. Is it the um, the smokestack for the incinerator, the body smelter? So that's what they've done is they've built an outpost for their own to die. Everybody's, they're just constantly tossing bodies into that yeah. incinerator. That's true. I wonder how bad it stinks there. It it's probably like one of the nice. worst places to live ever. <laughs> because of the smell and or the Grendel? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? That didn't seem like a nice place to live? You know, yes. a, a Grendel or a lot of dead bodies, but really both. Yeah, like, the best thing that happens is some fruity bitch rapes you in your sleep. <laughs> that's a good day. Yeah, and that's what they're putting on the pamphlet to get you to sign up to go to that outpost. Yeah. Possible rapings mm. by a uh, mega beast. Yeah. <laughs> Slash Playboy Playmate. So, yeah, she, either she rapes you or she eats you with her stomach mouth <laughs> after she turns into a meat bat. That's what all the women do. <laughs> oh. Eat your soul, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> and they're also all meat bats. <laughs> yeah, and they're also all meat bats. <laughs> Weird. You guys have any question, other questions? I'm still hung up. Who are the guys outside? <laughs> what are they doing? Where did they come from? And where did they leave to? <laughs> it's so dumb. Like, yep, our job is done here. Let's pack it in. Okay. Somebody piss on the campfires. We need to go find another place. To light fires outside of, and then if anyone tries to escape, save them from evil by killing them. So, why was it important to know that Tatiana... Tatiana? Who's Tatiana? Who, who's the daughter in Tar- Kyra. 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 Oh, I was way off. Yeah, way off. <laughs> so, why is it important to the storyline that Kyra killed her own husband? Yeah. I, oh, yeah. There yeah, you go. What? <laughs> I totally forgot about that part. He was abusive, so she stabbed the shit out of him, and then Roland covered it up by saying that the, the husband died in a fighting training course. I, oh. How do you die in a fight training course? Well, like, if you're you fighting stabbed. with Roland, I mean, it looks like he goes over the edge every once in a while. How do you fake that? Like, how did she kill him? Like, did they just drag his bones out? And, well, like, you guys haven't seen Weekend, weekend at Bernie's? Bernie's? <laughs> <laughs> just prop him right up there. for a minute. Like, then... She's saying that she stabs him repeatedly, and I'm like, yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure that a training accident doesn't look like 30 stab wounds. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're a little, a little out of hand. I found that, yes, not that's a great question. And also, the reason I didn't think of it is because every time those two started talking to each other, I was like, oh, God, what the hell are they talking about? Well, you can't understand a word that Lambert says, period. Well, the, a lot of it was just, like, words coming out of their mm. mouths with no meaning. Yeah. And he's trying to give her the brush off, like, the entire time. He's like, no, I'm not good for you. I can't share my life. You need to go your own way. I'm a lone wolf. You know, pretty much, listen, bitch, thanks for the bone, but I'm out. Beat it. Yeah. And she's like, but I haven't shared my biggest secret with you. And he's like, I don't want to know your fucking secrets. Get out of here. And she's like, but I love you. That's my secret. That's What a secret. Yeah, thanks for that. It's like, within 48 hours, she's already one of Mm -hmm. those women that has clinged onto your leg and will not let Mm -hmm. go. She's going to kill you someday, buddy. She's going to accuse you of raping her and then kill you. Either that or you're going to be hugging your mom and she's going to think it's some other lady Uh that you're getting the bone on with and she's going to come up behind your mom and stab her and be like, oh, I'm so sorry, Mrs. Johnson. I didn't realize that you were Mrs. Johnson, his mom. (laughs) Mrs. Beowulf. Mom Beowulf. Uh, Recommendations. You guys like it? Love it? Yeah, I like it. it. Of of all of the... This is my... Instantly my favorite Christopher Lambert movie. Yep. (laughs) Which is not hard to do. (laughs) I liked it as well. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a thrill ride. Jackie? Well. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes, I loved it. I Even... laughed so hard during that movie. There were so many, like, just retarded things that were happening, and I was like, oh my gosh, really? It is extremely riffable. It is. They're setting up the jokes oh, for good you. God. We couldn't even talk. We could talk about the dumb shit that happens in this movie for another hour. I like, would watch it again. I would like. Let's go out. Let's shut this stupid thing off and let's just go watch yeah. it again. Like, well, it's like when when they're walking him through Beowulf through the castle the first time. He's like, the only people that come here are damned idiots. And he's like, well, I'm already a damned. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why didn't you say, well, I'm already an idiot? <laughs> or when he like when you walk in on Rothgard and he's just hanging out in his room and I'm like. What is he doing? And you're like, he's cutting a rug. And then I look at it, and he's actually he's just cutting, cutting a rug apart with a knife. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you doing? Cutting doing? A rug rug. <laughs> Making a mess. All right. Well, that's our show. And we'll see you guys next week. And get to the chopper. Visit us at www.stinkermadness.com. Follow Stinker Madness on Twitter at Stinker Madness. Please rate and review us on iTunes and Stitcher. Thank you for listening, and get to the chopper.